energy is everywhere. It comes in many different forms, thermal, chemical, radiant, electrical, magnetic, and we're surrounded by all sorts of energy sources. But that is the biggest one. We clever humans have invented a ton of ways to harness all the different kinds of energy around us and convert it into what we need. We use wind energy to turn wind turbines, gas explosions to power car engines, chemical reactions to warm our hands, and the rubberiness of rubber bands to annoy our siblings. They all work because of the law of conservation of energy. Energy cannot be created or destroyed. You can't make energy out of nothing. but you can convert it from one form to another. The sun emits radiant energy that we experience as light and heat. Light and heat energy are great and all, but we also really need electrical energy, you know, to do anything. To convert that light and heat into electricity, some places use solar thermal plants. They use mirrors to focus the sun's rays onto one spot. They use that heat to boil water, which creates steam, which they can use to run a generator. It turns heat into electricity. Then there's these guys. Solar panels, also known as photovoltaic cells. Photo for light and voltaic for electricity. They convert the light energy of the sun into electrical energy. Light energy from the sun travels as particles called photons. When photons hit these panels, their energy is enough to knock loose some electrons from the silicon atoms in the panel. That leaves free electrons with a negative charge and positively charged holes where they used to be. The panel is designed to pull the negative charge one way and the positive holes the other. That creates a little electron superhighway, and that flow of electrons is electricity. The flowing electrons are directed along conductive metal plates and out of the cell. From there, we can take that electrical energy and turn it into candy crush or more heat or mechanical energy, whatever we need. Energy conserved. Here's the kicker though. It's not just solar panels and electricity. When you get down to it, the sun is really the source of nearly all of the energy we use. Like we saw earlier, some of our electricity comes from solar panels, obvi. Some of our electricity comes from wind turbines. The wind that makes the turbines turn is caused by the sun heating the earth in the atmosphere. That heating causes weather patterns and wind. Some of our energy comes from underwater turbines. The current that makes those turbines spin is caused by the sun heating up the oceans. Some of our energy comes from hydroelectric generators. They use the gravitational potential energy of water collected behind a dam. When the water is allowed to fall, it spins a turbine to power a generator. All that water came from rainfall, and it's the sun's heat that evaporates water from the oceans and the rivers, which causes rain. Of course, a lot of our energy comes from burning coal, oil, and natural gas. What does that have to do with the sun? Those deposits are formed by plants that died millions of years ago. Plants use the energy from the sun to make a carbon-rich food. When they die, there's still some of that left over. The dead plants get buried, and after a few hundred million years or so, that carbon gets transformed into coal, oil, and natural gas. Then we dig it up, burn it to release the chemical energy that's stored in it, and use that to power a ton of things. Cars, machines, heaters, electrical generators. It's all a part of a chain, converting one form of energy to another, and then another, and then another, forever. Nothing created, nothing destroyed. Physics, it's lit. Sorry, I feel like I have hair in my eyeball and that's gonna bother me. Physics, it's pretty nifty. It's the bees knees. Physics, it's lit. Physics, it's wicked.